Here I'm going to show you the curve filter by creating a simple wavy flag. Now this is a very simple project designed for GIMP beginners. Now in this example I'm just going to put plain text onto a plain canvas background. But you could just as easily use photos, logos, patterns etc. So first I make the new canvas. So I click on File, New, and I'll accept the default settings and just click OK. Now I want to work on a new transparent layer. So I go over to the Layers panel and click on the Create a New Layer button, which runs along the bottom of it. And in the dialog box, I'm going to rename that new layer Flag. check that it's going to be a transparency and then click OK. And you can see it here in the Layers panel. Now to create the flag, I click on the Rectangle Select tool in the toolbox and drag out a rectangle on that layer. And then click on the Bucket Fill tool and I'll change the colour. So I click on the foreground colour square and then I click on the colour palette I'd like and then on the shade and click OK. And then I just click inside that rectangle area to bucket fill it. And then I deselect by clicking on Select and None and that stops those marching ants. And now I'll put the text on the flag. So I click on the text tool in the toolbox and I come down and I'm going to change the colour to white and click OK. And I'll change the size to 50. And now I'll click on that rectangle area and type the text. Now I want the text layer and that rectangle to be combined. So I go to the Layers panel and right-click on the text layer and left-click on Merge Down. And now you can see that they have combined onto the one layer and it's still called Flag. And now I can curve it. So I click on Filters in the menu bar, hover over the word Distorts, Go across and down and click on Curve Bend. Now in this dialog box, I want to put a tick in Automatic Preview, so I simply click on it. And then over in the graph area, I'm going to drag the curve down at the beginning. Then I'm going to drag it up a little. And then I'll click on it about three quarters of the way along to fix it to that spot and drag the tail end up a little as well. Then I'm going to click on Copy and Lower and then click OK. And there's the curve. Now to add a flagpole I click on the Rectangle Select tool in the Toolbox and then under Tool Options I'm going to click on Rounded Corners and then increase the radius to 100. And then I simply drag down a rectangle for my flagpole. Now to fill it I'm going to click on the Bucket Fill tool but I'm not going to fill it with a colour. I come down to Tool Options and click on Pattern Fill. Now by default, my pattern is pine. But if yours isn't, click on the thumbnail of whichever pattern's there to open the menu. And then click on the pine option. Then simply go to that rectangle 
and bucket fill it with that pattern. And then click on Select and None to deselect and stop the marching ants. Now if you want to cut a V out of the end of it, click on the Free Select tool in the toolbox. Select the area that you'd like to remove and press the delete key on your keyboard. And then again, select and none. And there it is.